here and we're going to make a card today and we're going to be using some of the products I have on my table. We have Rangers Archival Ink and Enamel Accents. We have scrapbook adhesives, adhesives and small foam squares. We have the Chameleon Fine Liners. Picket Fence Boho Bowl Stamp Set. And we're also using some products from Hey Crafty Girl from Simple Stories. Um, so we'll set these aside and I'll show you the card we're going to make. This is the card we're going to do. We're going to do some coloring on the bowl and just some basic layering. Let's start by stamping our card sock. On the back side, I have a piece of the scrapbook adhesives by 3L adhesive sheets onto the back. So we're going to turn this part into a sticker and use a stamp positioner of your choice. I will use some Thermoweb's purple tape just to tack this down. I like to place my stamp where I want it on the page. an image that you're happy with, we're going to take some of the Chameleon Fine Liners to color in the fine details. And then we're going to cut this out. And there you have your boho bowl sticker. So we're going to set this aside while we build the base of the card. For the card, I'm using a four by six piece of Creative Scrapbooker Super Stock. I've got another smaller piece that we will layer with, and I've got three pieces of pattern paper from the Crafty Girls paper collection. The first thing I want to do is to stamp express your wild side on this corner of the card. So let's do that. So we have our sentiment here. We're going to pull out our Temporary Adhesive by Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L. And we're going to audition these papers underneath the mat. And then you're like, oh no, I don't like that. Then you take it off. That's the joy of repositionable adhesive. I'm going to keep mine like we did the first time. I'm going to take my temporary adhesive away and we're going to replace it with a permanent adhesive. For the stickers, I'm using as well from the Hey Crafty Girl set. They have a book of wonderful stickers. And just in my corners, I'll run some stickers from top to bottom. And then that is pretty good. So then what I would do is just come to the back here and cut off the excess. Let's put the sticker on first. Another thing that I like to do when I am sticking my white on white is take a pencil and just go around and outline. And there, you can see that she's beautifully colored. We will put her on to our background. I'm going to use the turquoise one. For this flower, I will use a pop dot. Sorry, not a pop dot, but a foam square. If I 
final step that I've done in this is I've taken some enamel accents and just pop a few dots throughout. Always a good idea whenever you are using any type of a adhesive or any type of an enamel dot like this, squeeze some out to get a feel for the product before you do it on your product. Enamel accents are dry, then I would take a piece of cardstock like I have here and adhere my base onto that to create a beautiful express your wild side boho card using the lovely picket fence stamp boho bowl. Thank you for watching me do my card and I hope it's given you some inspiration on how you can layer your stamps and stickers and paper and if you do be sure to share it with us on one of our social media sites. Thank you for today and happy creating. Bye!